All right, welcome back. We're actually still here, trying to escape from our captor's complex. But before going on, uh, there's actually a few things I just wanted to cover that uh, I forgot to do, including uh, looking at some of the options, more or less for my own record. I tried to mimic the settings I had for Baldur's Gate 1. I think the only things that are in question is uh, maybe the music volume could actually go up a tad. But I'm not actually going to change anything now. I'm going to wait uh, to see what it looks like and sounds like uploaded. And uh, even though the brightness is down, it almost appears like it might be too bright. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Otherwise, uh, everything else is the same, including uh, core rules for difficulty. So characters won't receive maximum hit dice and leveling up. Other fun things like the ability to lose uh, characters due to massive damage permanently. <laughs> and uh, the chance not to learn spells, I guess. But actually, what I didn't know is that, uh, as you'd expect with core rules, enemies deliver 100% damage, unlike normal, which is only 75% damage. I never realized that. I thought normal uh, was just an XP penalty, so I'm not sure why that's even called normal. All right. But, uh, and the other thing I wanted to bring up was the date. I had remarked that... Uh, Lily's uh, encounter with Saravok happened in the winter of 69, that's true, but to clarify, I guess technically you'd call it <laughs> the winter of 68, 69, because we're in the spring of 69 now. Just to be clear, uh, and in case anybody's keeping track, I guess. Otherwise, uh, I think Jahira was complaining about uh, the armor and the helmet that were given to Mints. They were superior to hers, and I think uh, Lily's going to make... Mints concede and uh, have them trade equipment. And the other thing uh, I think that now that Lily's had a few days, I guess, to clear her head, uh, realizing that I guess Emuin may be spending time with her at Candlekeep, but uh, having now picked up training as a mage. Um, She's actually going to forbid her <laughs> from uh, memorizing the uh, fourth level spells as that's Lily's highest level. Um, this is something she used to do with Dine here, if anyone uh, remembers. And um, yeah, and I think. Whoops. And we'll probably really limit her uh, to memorize really just utilitarian spells like uh, identify or things that uh, Lily can't be bothered to have clutter up her book, I think. But uh, this is, I think, uh, going to be an issue. She is dual class, so she will no longer receive any more training as a thief. I think Melf's Acid Arrow is a good one because I think there are trolls in this setting. <laughs> I might need, uh, it's probably more useful than strength. Haste is good, but I think the targets are subject to fatigue afterwards until we can get to uh, improved haste. I'm trying to go through the spell descriptions, but wow, are there a lot. <laughs> It's going to be uh, a while, I think. Remove magic. Oh. I think that's like a dispel magic that will only affect enemies. I guess one can't hurt. All right. But uh, so Lily is going to keep her eye out, I think, for somebody to, to fulfill a more or less a roguelike role for her company. But because uh, obviously Emmaline won't be able to do that. But uh, she is fond of Imo, and she, I think she'd like to keep her around as a companion. But uh, otherwise, there's really no um, functional role <laughs> that Imo's going to fulfill, I think. It is done. Except, uh, I guess, in some minor way as support. All right. I think the other thing also I forgot about is that she also has the ability yes. to set traps. This is brand new. I guess you can do that twice a day. And if uh, I read it correctly, other members of the party cannot set the trap off. Which I thought was curious. But, uh... 
So, something else uh, new I learned. Let All right. Your servant awaits. Otherwise, our ultimate goal is to escape the complex. I think Lily would like to plot her revenge, ultimately. <laughs> but not before finding out what this uh, untapped power or potential that uh, her captor was talking about. And uh, here, with these life support tubes, we didn't really learn much. I think we heard some clues about um, things that we probably haven't even encountered yet. One was talking about uh, encountering dangers in a mistress's room. The other one was talking about bringing a statue to a, a genie. But uh, we don't think it's the genie that we previously met. We have a activation stone for the sewage golem, but I think we want to find this pit that he was talking about opening before uh, actually commanding him to do so. Because he was talking about feeding a guardian. <laughs> that certainly doesn't sound good. <laughs> Sounds uh, dangerous. I think we'd like to see uh, if we can't see what might be in the pit to begin with. Alright, here's a goblin. Quite a few, I think. Uh, mm. Lily will cast horror. And she still has his minute meteors uh, engaged. Well, I'll also use them. Pretty effective, actually. <laughs> I think she could uh, handle this on her own. Oh, here's another one. I I go. Oh, this. You where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Still one running around, but I think. Uh... Some uh, minor minor loot, I guess. Grease. Okay, I think that's a new one. That would be a new one for Lily. All right. In for vision, even though uh, she doesn't need it, she'd like to memorize it just to uh, for bragging rights. I think, what is her chance to learn a spell now? Probably not very high. Probably wait, uh, yeah, 75%. I think she'd rather wait. Maybe see, uh, she can't buy a potion to help her with that. Yes. As I would have done. All right, here's a door, but it uh, doesn't quite look like a pit. Maybe it leads to one, though. I am ready if it will help. Okay. What do you want? Gotcha. Here's something. Looks like a library, actually. Dust method. And looks like more goblins. Well, I think uh, Lily's curious to see what might be in the library. It might even reveal the identity of our captor. I have an idea who it is, but uh, she certainly doesn't. I don't believe uh, he actually... <laughs> mentioned who he was <laughs> during those uh, experiments. All right. Swords! Jump on my sword while you can, evil! I won't be as gentle! 
I think uh, we're just gonna bait some of those goblins out. Whoops. Ah, that's not right! <laughs> not doing a good job of it. Here comes the dust method. Uh oh. Name it. Good to go. It is about time. I thought as much. Yes. What epic <laughs> <he> was. <laughs> 